Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, so in today's video we are doing another grocery haul from Costco here in Canada. Um, so everything that I'm going to show you is peanut, tree nut, dairy and egg free. I'm going to show you all the items along with the prices um, and the ingredients. Uh, now my plan was just to go into Costco, grab a couple of things. Um, like usual when I head into Costco I end up grabbing more than I had planned. Uh, that probably happens to everyone else as well. Uh, so anyhow, let's get started. I'm going to show you those items that I purchased. Okay, so here's some of the Philly Swirl Organic Swirl Stick Frozen Dessert Bars. Now they have five assorted flavors, so there's 40 bars in here as well. They've got Orange Dream, Very Berry, Cotton Candy, Blueberry, and Mango Pineapple. Um, so now, it does say here too, they are vegan, gluten-free, peanut-free, dairy-free as well. Um, I will show you the ingredients once I can find them here. Now, we usually do have a hard time finding these, um, but uh, once in a while they do carry them at Costco and they've got them in stock right now, um, if you want to head in and grab them. And these were $8.99. So here we have the Kellogg's Variety Packs of Cereal. Now, it has 12 cups in the box. There are 4 cups of the Frosted Flakes, 6 cups of the Fruit Loops, and 2 cups of the Corn Pops. Now, we usually like to have these on hand um, when we're staying at a hotel or if we're going camping. I just find that these are a great, quick, on-the-go breakfast or snacking option for anyone with a food allergy. And those were $7.99. Okay, so here are the ingredients for the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. There they are there. Um, this one does say it contains barley ingredients. So if you have a barley allergy, I wouldn't recommend these Frosted Flakes. Um, and then the Fruit Loops. There's those ingredients. And these ones say contain wheat and oat ingredients, may contain soy. So for those that are allergic to those, I wouldn't recommend the Fruit Loops. And then we've got the Kellogg's Corn Pops. And there's the ingredients up there. And then down below it does say it contains oat ingredients, may contain soy. So if you're allergic to soy or oats, I wouldn't recommend the Kellogg's Corn Pops. Now here's some of the General Mills Cheerios. There is one gram of sugar per serving. And this, this is a one kilogram box and it comes with two boxes here. And then I will show you the ingredients for the Cheerios. My son really likes having these for breakfast in the morning. So there's the ingredients there. Um, and then here we picked up some pork back ribs. So these are the Swisha Lay brand. Uh, we really like these. They're the Smoky Barbecue and it comes with two packs um, inside here. They're fully cooked and seasoned um, and they're ready in about 10 minutes. The ribs were $19.99 for those for a two pack. Um, then we also picked up some of the Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Um, and these are, let me just see here, three grams of sugar per serving for uh, one cup, 28 grams. And let me just see if I can find those. Sorry, I just got to get this out of the way. And see if I can find the ingredients for the Rice Krispies here. Now, for some reason, my son really likes to have the Rice Krispies alone without any milk on them. I'm not sure why, but that's how he enjoys to eat them. Okay, so next up we have the Lysol Disinfecting Wipes. Uh, so there are six packs of 100 wipes, and they are citrus and spring waterfall. Now, we usually like to use these wipes uh, for our kitchen counters, uh, the appliances, um, in our bathroom as well. Lysol wipes were $19.99. So here we have some of the English cucumbers, and those were on for $3.49. And then we also picked up the Cavendish Farm uh, fries. Now these taste similar to the fries that you can purchase at uh, the food court at Costco. Um, we usually bake ours in the oven. I'm going to show you the ingredients here of the fries. Okay, so here's some of the um, Costco potatoes. We usually pick these ones up. They're the yellow potatoes. Uh, we quite like these ones and they are bigger. Um, so here they are on the back here. And these were $5.99. Okay, so whenever I go to Costco, I always have to grab some of the 
frozen blueberries and mangoes. So we picked up two packages of the blueberries. Now, frozen blueberries are great for making smoothies. Um, they turn out creamier and less watered down. Now, these particular blueberries from Costco are my favorite. Um, I've got them at other grocery stores as well, um, but I find they have been a bit on the um, more sour side, where I find these ones from Costco are a bit sweeter. And we also enjoy eating the blueberries right from frozen. And the blueberries were $9.49. But yes, so these are really good. And then here are the mangoes that we picked up as well. Same thing, we like to have these, uh, just eat them from frozen. Uh, there's no sugar added to them. I'll show you the ingredients for the mangoes. It just says mangoes there. And as well as the blueberries. So the ingredients here for the blueberries are just blueberries. Okay, so here is some of the fully cooked mini wontons. Now these wontons are perfect for a snack or an appetizer. These are chicken and cilantro, and they're ready in about five minutes. They don't take very long at all. Uh, now there's different ways that you can um, eat them. So there, you can have a wonton them with a wonton salad, wonton soup, or wonton and rice. There's the ingredients there. And then the last thing we got was some chicken. Um, so these are the Kirkland chicken thighs, right here. And these were, it says here, $25.87. Okay, so that was our grocery haul from Costco here in Canada. Now everything here that I showed you is peanut, tree nut, dairy, and egg free. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.